morning, National Dayers. It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Friday, October 27th. It is the 300th day of the year. There are 65 days left. Happy National Black Cat Day. Don't be superstitious on National Black Cat Day. October 27th celebrates the beauty of these sleek creatures. The day also seeks to raise awareness about the low adoption rates for black cats. This time of year, many black cats may decorate many thresholds for Halloween and windows for spooky decor. However, these felines deserve the love and attention just as much as their tabby equivalents. Old notions have given these furry critters a bad reputation. This day is about turning that reputation around. Their black canine counterparts also face similar adoption problems, so it's not all about myth and mystery. However, increasing support for the black feline's plight is the goal of this companion holiday. If you are a cat lover considering adopting, don't overlook the black to go with the white. Knock those irrational fears to the door and open your home to the dark side. Visit a shelter near you and explore the options available in the cat room. If your home is graced with a black cat, share photos with everyone to remind them black cats give just as much love as any other colored cat, including the hairless ones. Today is also Cranky Coworkers Day, National Mentoring Day, Navy Day, and World Day for Audiovisual Heritage. Okay, National Dayers, today we're gonna make a black cat. Gather the following supplies. You'll need paper, white, black, and pink, a hole punch, a glue stick, scissors, white pencil, and googly eyes are optional. All right, so my directions had me doubling everything, but you're only gonna need half of what I cut out. But I guess that means I can make another one when we're done, right? Here we go. So you're gonna take your black paper and you're going to cut a strip that's two and a half inches wide and then cut another strip that it's about three quarters of an inch wide. And then on the smaller strip, you're gonna round the edges. And then on the black paper, you're also going to draw a heart shape and cut it out, but round the point at the bottom. And then you'll need to cut out two football shapes out of the black paper. Now, with the pink paper, you're gonna cut out two smaller football shapes, a little bit smaller than the black ones, and then you're gonna punch out a little hole using your hole punch. Make sure you save it. And then with the white, you only need that if you're not gonna use googly eyes, and then you would need to cut out two little circles. Okay, now we're gonna assemble it. You're gonna take the wider strip and you're going to fold it into thirds and then tuck the two ends together and tape it or glue it and that's gonna hold it to make a little bump. Then you're going to glue the pink football shapes into the black football shapes. You're making little kitty ears. And then you're gonna glue those on the back of the heart on the rounded point side. So where you rounded the tip, so basically the heart's gonna be upside down, take those football ears and glue them onto the back with them sticking out the top. And then you're gonna take that little pink hole that you punched out and you're going to glue that right in the middle. Then you wanna draw some eyes on the white circles or if you're using googly eyes, then you can glue those eyes just above that little pink nose that you just glued on. You're gonna fold the rounded strip in half and you're gonna glue the bottom to that wider piece with the bump that we did. And then you kinda wanna curve the tail and you can trim the extra if you have it, if it's too long. Now you're gonna make an accordion fold piece of paper, fold it back and forth and back and forth for the neck of the cat and then you're gonna glue it to the bump and also the cat head. And look at that, my friends, a bobble-headed black cat. This one's super cute. All right, National Dayers. Well, the closest thing I have 
at home to a black cat is a very dark gray commando. I do have a black cat though, and her name is Bella, and she's my grand kitty. So I'll attach some videos of her at the end. Keep smiling, National Dares. Have a fabulous Friday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Our shout outs today start us off with Ms. Jessica and everyone in the grades six through eight autism classroom at Berrien R-E-S-A program at Upton Middle School in St. in St. Joseph, Michigan. Next up is Mr. Ty and everyone in his high school essential skills class at Jefferson High School in Lafayette, Indiana. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated super spectacular shout out map.